Yo, what's good, guys? Um, so uh, we have having um, a live trading session, a little live trading session today, guys. So the long I did um, or I took some live trades and um, you know recorded it on YouTube. Yeah. So um, yeah. So I'll, I'll be opening on a Discord call now with my team, and um, we'll be taking the trade together. Yeah, I just dropped the call during like few minutes ago, and um, yeah, we should start the recording now. So um, without further ado, guys, let's head to the chat. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. So um, our first tip is at um twenty plus feet. Which is at um three fifty, I guess. Yeah, three fifty. So I'm taking one more entry now, guys. I'm taking one more entry. Yeah. 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 And then our second TP should be at 415. 415. Yeah. yeah. So let's see, let's go prize again. So basically, guys, um, after the trade, um, I'm going to explain why um we took this um we took this setup and um, yeah what um what were the things I saw for taking them um, before taking the trade. Um. So we go like five people, five people on the front of this now. Why this is big? Why um all these weeks are big is because of the consolidation. Yeah, our TP is still, I think we are ahead. Let me see where the TP is. Wow. Yeah, TP is still, our TP is still ahead. So why this um, whole um, candlestick movement is this big is because of the consolidation now. And you know, when consolidation happens, they tend to like take more space, especially on the lower temperature. Guys. So guys, we have um ten people, ten people um, running profits now, guys. Yeah. yeah, so I think is it fresh? Is it fresh to break even? I don't know if it's fresh to break even now. I don't know if it's fresh to break even, but of course you guys can secure profit if you want. Yeah, I mean if ten people is not if ten people is not for you, wow, this thing should you know <laughs> should know about aggressive nice or more crazy. Let me take a screenshot. Okay. 
Crazy, crazy. So about in TP, about in TP1, yeah, I think 10 people to TP1. I'm super happy that we got it. So yeah, I think price is still running like 15 pips. I mean, for those of us that have went that down, as you can see, price is running like 15 pips. I'm about to hit our TP now, TP1 for 20, 20 plus pips, guys. So you guys can start securing profits. <laughs> I mean, nice clean, nice clean buy right here, nice clean buy. Let me just quickly take a screenshot. Take a screenshot, right? Yeah. But majority of why I think I should scare for it was because of because of this level. In case in case it gets gets respected, I just say she's scared. That's why I think I should scare for it. I think it will be broken. I think it will be broken. Well, so let's see, let's see what happens though. Yeah, my target, my target right here is um, 200 plus dollars. For this money, yeah. I think if I can make two hundred dollars, I think I'm cool. I think I'm cool with you. I'm closing. I think I'll close one position now. So yeah, just to secure my profit. I'm just close this one. Reason I won't close close this trade is because um, I want this one to reach 50. <laughs> That's why I'm still leaving. I want this to reach 50. 50 I think I'm gonna take partials. Okay, okay. I think it's about to okay, about to TP. Yeah, so I think it should automatically close. Nice, nice, nice. So that's pretty much has been broken, guys. Yeah, that I the eye was nice. TP TP smash guy. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Crazy, crazy, crazy boy, guys. Crazy boy. Yeah, so I'm going to break even this last trade. I'm going to break even this last trade, guys. It's our entry position, which is not the one need to think 150 or so. Yeah. 
Yes, I'm going to be broke. Even though I took the late entry right here, but I still secured, I've secured my profit for today, as you guys can see. Yeah. So about 200, as you can see guys, I secured 180, $180 already. And I still have this floating trade. So this trade should head for TP2. Yeah. So this trade is heading for TP2, as you guys can see, right up here. And um, yeah. So what it only have eighty dollars already secured this one. So you guys can take profit, guys. Um, I was just updating my YouTube. So the video, this this live stream was recorded, and I was just updating my YouTubers and subscribers. So TP smart, guys. TP one smart. You can secure profit. TP two is still for um one eight two four fifteen. So let me drop that. Let me drop that right here. Okay, let me drop my phone. <laughs> really. Yeah, so guys, um sorry, I just went to check now and I think my, my phone battery ran down. Hope this is still recording though. Okay. So my phone battery just ran down for some reason. My phone. So um let me just quickly do the breakdown, uh, you know, analysis for the trade that we took. As you can see, still buying, guys. Price is still heading for um, our TP2 target. Yeah, so TP1 has been smashed for um, 20 pips. I'm still floating like um, 25 to those pips now. So I'm um, very quickly, this was initially what I saw. I did the breakdown. Yeah, I did the breakdown on um, the yesterday. Yeah, yesterday for my for my members, for my VIP. Um, yeah, for my VIP members, my mentorship members. So I said, you know, if price is going to do, let me delete this. Okay, let's go to the H4. Yeah. I said, if price was going to buy or sell, to get to a particular level before it does, of course, does whatever it wants to do. So if price wants to buy, if price wants to buy, price will get to this level, of course, and break, and break it. And when it gets to this level, we can either do Two things: you can either break this zone or respect this zone and come back to touch or touch the support zone, touch the support level right here. And of course, it might respect the support level to again, and it might just continue consolidating. Since this is a consolidation on the higher time frame, I mean, I deeply explained this thing um yesterday and stuff. So this is a consolidation on the higher time frame, and then I picked up my support um my support zone right here using this previous week as you can see, and it aligned with this one, this one, and this one. Even this one too. So the support zone is very, very strong. Why I picked up my resistance zone, which is a um, um I think supply zone right now. So I picked up my supply zone using this week right here, this previous week right here. And also you can use this one. And as you can see, it was respected to buy this one, this one, this one, and this one. So price may likely get to this level again before we see any further drop, right? Before we see any further drop. So it's just as simple as that. And I think yeah, it's very, very close to. Our TP2 target. Even though I'm sorry, I mean I'm satisfied. Even though this still goes against me, I've secured my profit already. And I think I'll see one more. I'll see move my <laughs> I'll see move my stop loss. Man, yeah, see move my stop loss to to profit. So, so um, yeah. With that being okay, now let's talk about our entry now. How I got in on this trade. So if you guys go closely on the 15 minutes, you still see that price is kind of like trending towards the upside. Right? See, you still see that price still has this bullish momentum. Um, yeah, price this as this bullish moment so towards the upside. So, like I told you guys, I've said this multiple times in my video. When price wants to buy or price wants to sell, price does the opposite before trending towards the opposite side aggressively. Just like I, I um I, I broke down on my previous video. See that liquidity that I was explaining on my previous video. 
there are many of you guys who even make changes that see bank traders or something like that. Price actually, as you can see, price did those price dropped a little before the buy to place. So I kind of knew that as it was dropping, he's definitely looking for more momentum. He's definitely looking for more buys as this drop entered. That's why I see that I said I was going to take more entries. So I took more entries down here at this bottom right here. I'm sure you guys. We see the screenshot pop up. I took more entries right here. It wouldn't my entry when good at least of patient pink waited and took more entries right here before you know. I think I will caught more peeps. I think I caught like 20, 25 plus peeps when it eats my TP1 than the ones I took right here. So it's just really crazy, guys. So you guys can watch out for you know those kind of moves when price drops. And I think yeah, price actually dropped to probably level, yeah, level. Let's see, let's see this um, demand level right here. Yeah, I think price kind of like respected this demand level right here. Since this is the previous low, yeah, this is the previous low. So you can easily mark your demand by using the last week. Yeah, the last week, as you can see, the last week right here. You can say, plug down. Immediately, price touch this level, price did not bought aggressively. So it's just as simple as that, guys. No magic to this trade. All the confluences were cool. And um, yeah, I think. You know, I was confident banking on this. <laughs> so with that being said, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, share this stream, guys. And if you guys want to see more live trading sessions like this, you guys can drop your comments down below and I'll do it to record more. So that, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.